Good morning, Mayor Sedd. Super, Superintendent Schaefer. Council members, Board of Education members, Town Council members, principals, administrators, staff, students, and community members. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to our annual flag raising event. While we're excited to have one here, we'd especially like to welcome the students from Dale Avenue, school number two, school six, Martin Luther King, school number 20, Stars and Ties, who are the reason for which we are here today to celebrate. This symbolic event today kicks off Autism Awareness Month. We hope you enjoy the amazing speakers and performances to come, and that today continues to inspire ideas and discussions around autism awareness. Thank you. So we will now have the flag salute led by Jaden Cannon, Jalen Cannon, and Amaya Bernal from school number two. Vanessa Serrano, school number two. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. This is my fourth year participating in the autism flag raising event. I still like clockwork the morning of. I get butterflies in my stomach and am filled with excitement. It is a day that I look forward to each and every year as well as the celebrations throughout the month of April for Autism Awareness. When you think about the many syndromes, disorders, and illnesses that can impact an individual, you appreciate the accomplishment of having this level of focus placed on autism. Autism has garnered recognition and support because of the incredible work of families, individuals, and professionals who live, work, and love individuals on the spectrum. Autism is now one of the most prevalent disorders occurring in one out of every 68 children. It's so amazing to see the strides our students make day to day and year to year. Although there are good days and not so good days, the bubbly personalities, artistic and creative abilities, kind-heartedness, and each unique in their own ways, it is, it is that that makes those not so good days even better. I am grateful for the relationships fostered with teachers, parents, students, and the community to provide the best quality education our students deserve. Because our students are extraordinary. Thank you. All right, at this time, can we just make a big, big cheer for our superintendent, Ms. Aline Schaefer! Good morning, everyone. You look great out there. You know, in education, we've come a long way from many of the practices that used to leave students who were on the autism spectrum marginalized. We left them out. And if anyone wants, anyone wants proof of that, just look around today 
and look at all of the beautiful students from school number two. The beautiful student from Senator Frank Lautenberg School. The beautiful students from school number 20. The beautiful students from Dale Avenue. The beautiful students from Martin Luther King. And the beautiful high school students from the Ties and Stars program. It's really great to see all of you here today and I want to thank the mayor for having us here at City Hall. I want to thank our board commissioner, Della McCall, and for all of us keeping autism awareness in the forefront of the Patterson community. Autism Awareness Month will be the entire month and it should be the entire year. I want to thank Assistant Superintendent Cheryl Coy. Please give her a round of applause. I'm committed to the idea that there is a single child among 25,000 students in this district who's on the autism spectrum. And that we're gonna do everything we can to empower these children. And we're gonna educate them. And we're gonna draw out from them their God-given potential and abilities. Patterson Public School is striving to be a leader in how to accommodate students on the spectrum, how to educate them and incorporate them into our classrooms, our workplaces right here in the city of Patterson and the community. And we have students from the STARS program working at Center City Mall. We have them working at the district offices. So we are educating the entire child and that means every one of you. In our elementary schools, we have leaders like School 2 Principal Dr. Vanessa Serrano and her counterparts at all of our elementary schools have been paving the way for students with special needs for generations. At the high school level, we have Dr. Natalie Hackett, who's been working with the STARS program, and now the TIES program. And the TIES program is a program where we are transitioning our high school students into independent living. We have an apartment set up with a kitchen, a bedroom, a laundry room, where you're gonna have to develop your own budget. How you're gonna make your bed and wash your clothes and cook and grocery shop. Because we want you to be independent citizens in the city of Patterson. Every one of us has a stake in making sure that any person on the spectrum can achieve as much as possible and we must continue to give you the opportunities to be successful. I want to give a shout out to Melanie Brown, Principal of Senator Frank Lautenberg, and Dr. Moses McKenzie, Principal of School Number 20, and Rich Sanducci, Principal of Dale Avenue, and Dr. Jalen Knight, Principal of Martin Luther King Complex. All of our principals are working hard to ensure that our special needs children and children with autism have opportunities to be successful. In the end, we must all recognize that autism is not a disease that, can't, that can be cured. And people with autism are not lacking intelligence. Every single one of you out there are intelligent. Give your hand self a round of applause. You are intelligent. The only difference is you see the world a little different than others. And that's okay. That's okay to see the world a little different. And so it's incumbent upon all of us as a society to make sure that we help all of our autistic children and adults to find their place in this world and for them to be successful. Thank you very much.
at this time, I'd like to present to you our mayor, Mayor Andre Saya. Good morning, Patterson. Good morning, superstars. We are so happy to host you today at City Hall. And we're also happy to celebrate you today at City Hall. I want you to know that here at City Hall, you have a friend in me. When I was first elected to office, I said, we need a playground for children with special needs. And so what we did near school number two was that we renovated that park to include Patterson's first inclusive playground for children on the spectrum. But we didn't stop there because we know that's just one side of our town and our whole city deserves another inclusive playground. And so we went to Roberto Clemente Park on Market Street and once again, children with special needs now have an inclusive playground to play in. And the celebration does not end today relative to autism awareness. Because this Sunday at Roberto Clemente Park, we are going to celebrate you as we've partnered with Yo Soy Asi. This is who I am, or I am this. We, from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., we will have an opportunity for all children to come and play for three hours at our inclusive playground at Roberto Clemente Park. And then the fire department, Mr. Ayers, Mr. Hunter, on Saturday, April 29th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., we will have our Touch a Truck event. And we invite all of you there as well. And so it was stated before by the superintendent, this shouldn't just be one day or one month, it should be every day, it is every day. Because you are to be celebrated, because you all are superstars. Thank you. Let's give another round of applause for our mayor. At this time, we are going to be favored by a selection from Stars Thai Student. They will be rendering a selection, We Are the World. When we heed a certain call, when the world must come together as one, there are people dying. Oh, and it's time to lend a hand to life. The greatest gift of all. We can go on, pretending day by day. That someone, somewhere, will soon make a change. We are all a part of God's great big family. And the truth, you know, love is all we need.
for her peers when it comes to students on the autism spectrum. We have always got to push through what the IEP may say and look beyond what the children bring to the table. I need to thank every stakeholder, staff member, personal aide, supervisor, who comes in every day to work with this unique population of children because it takes passion to do this. And if you don't have the passion and purpose, you're in the wrong business. You can see by the volume of staff that is here today, they truly love these children. They love what they do. We appreciate you. I don't want you to ever think that you are not recognized because your job is a 24-7 job. Why? Because when you swipe out at three, you go home and you're already preparing for tomorrow morning. We see it and we know it. I thank you all for everything you bring to the table. I appreciate what you have poured into these children. We vow to have this flag up by April 1st and not the middle of the month this year. We look forward to our huge autism walk on the 24th of April at Barley Field. Our children would have their first autism walk out on the field. So please come out, represent, support them, and continue to do what you guys are doing because we see you and we appreciate you. And autism is the ability, not the disability. At this time, we're going to have school 20 students come and read us a poem. Let's give them a big round of applause. Kind hearts are the garden. Kind words are the roots. Kind thoughts are the flowers. Kind deeds are the fruits. Take care of your garden and keep out the weeds. Fill it with sunshine, kind words, and kind deeds. Yeah. Kind is cool when life flies by so very fast and it gets busy every day. Kindness becomes a gift. We give so many ways. Be kind is important every minute, every day. We show our kindness by what we do and what we say. When I help a friend that is feeling sad, or I do an extra task, and I showing kindness everywhere, and soon there will be more. Give them another round of applause. At this time, we are going to be rendered and led by Ethan Martinez Rodriguez from MLK. Be the reason someone smiles today. Everybody, everybody, hi and and be the reason that's not the day. It's gonna be so awesome for the school. It's gonna be so awesome. But there's always the time to be the reason that's not the day. And when I say autism, did you say rock? Autism? 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 Everybody, this is the Autism Rock song because uh, everybody loves it. So everybody picked it. So I'm sorry to be to every day, to every student in the whole wide world who are good and and stuff. So everything is going to be fine with all this stuff. But when they find a lot of stuff, they're going to have so much stuff in this school for tomorrow morning. Because everybody supposed to hear me, 
joined by our director of DPW, who is also a twin for the Giants head football coach, Billy Rodriguez. And we also have our director from our library, Mr. Corey Fleming. Mm, that was good. Mm. Can we now have our closing remarks? 
from Khalil Evans from Stars Tides Academy. Let's put our hands together for them. My name is Clea Evans. I'm a proud student at Stars Ties where Dr. Hackett is the principal. I have learned so much since I've been a student here. I have learned to cook and do laundry in Ms. Lampley's class. I learned how to sew in Mrs. S. class. I learned how to release anxiety with mindful meditation in this Redford's class! I went on a college tour to Bergen Community College, which opened my eyes to a whole new world of possibilities and wonders! I also learned valuable work experience. I traveled to 90 Delaware to the various jobs such as filing places, late bills on envelopes, shredding papers, and organizing office rooms. Miss Coy is one of the nicest people I ever met. She has given me and my classmates opportunities to work ways to better ourselves. She says over and over again that we can become whatever we desire. I will be graduated this year and I will miss my school very much. However, ties has definitely required me with the tools that I need to succeed. I want to thank my mom, Patricia Evans, who helped me to set my career. Yes, mom. I have a lot of support and I know that I am destined for greatness. Thank you all! Give her another round of applause! Thank you. From Dr. Hackett. Dr. Hackett, please come and give the thank you so we can do what we came here to do, and that is to raise our flag. And you know what I'm excited about? It's gotten a little warmer out here because of your sunshine. Dr. Hackett. I'd like to say that Kalia came from school too. Thank you all for being here today. This is an, a very important gathering because it raises awareness of individuals with autism. I am also delighted to join together with all of the district and community leaders who have made autism awareness a personal cause. Awareness and engagement at the highest level of leadership really makes a lot of difference. Of course, everybody's engagement is important, but when it comes from the top, it makes a lasting impact. We are here to continue to advocate for greater access and work opportunities for persons with autism. While there has been a great deal of progress, we will continue to work towards bringing opportunities for our students. In speaking of opportunities, I want to add that we hugely encouraged, we were hugely encouraged by the growing public awareness of autism spectrum disorders and also the resources that Ms. Schaefer and Ms. Coy have provided to our students that not only fosters greater understanding, but it empowers parents. Please give Ms. Schaefer, Ms. Coy, and yourselves a round of applause.
The great deal of work that the Patterson Public Schools has created has given our students lasting opportunities so that we can help them to be able to transition into society. With adequate support, our students can and should be educated in the heart of this great Patterson community. In closing, we are proud that the pa Patterson Public Schools, as well as the Mayor's Office, is one of the champions for working for the benefit and well-being of people with autism. Thank you for coming. Well, it's that time. We're gonna ask our DJ to get us ready. I want everybody to turn to this side. And we have our flag that's already set to go. So, Mr. DJ, can you give us some music as our mayor and our deputy mayor and our council? Our superintendents and all of the assistant superintendents. Go to our flagpole. I am, but it's too bright. <laughs> All right. So, Mr. DJ, we're going to count on you so that we can get this flag up. One. So, here we go. When I say autism, you say mom. Thank <laughs> you. 